Hi everyone and welcome to our very first episode of the DIY Dish. Can you believe this? This is so exciting. Very <laughs> exciting. On today's show we are actually going to be talking about pin cushions and making some really cute ones. Mm. Plus we have a really special giveaway from one of our favorite fabric designers, Heather Bailey. So I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching the DIY Dish. Welcome everyone to the DIY Dish. We are so glad that you've joined us. Yes. And we want to thank you for all the blog comments we've received. Oh, we read every one of them. Mm -hmm. The excitement and enthusiasm for the show is just contagious and we truly appreciate it. Uh, along with those blog comments, <laughs> we've had some interesting questions yeah. asked. And so we want to address the top three questions that have been asked on the blog for okay. us. The first being, what is the DIY dish about? And to answer that, we'd just like to let you know that every week you'll come and be able to watch a weekly webisode that uh, will feature a main project uh, where we'll show how to do something. We, we might even do a review on a product for all those do-it-yourselfers. That's right. And then we'll end with a quick two-minute project that is easy to do and fun and something that you can get started with right away. Yeah. All right, so that's basically what the DIY dish is going to be about. But I have to tell you, we could not do it without the help from our most generous sponsors. And so thank you, sponsors, very we much. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. And we hope that you will take the time to click on their links and find out a little bit more about them. Speaking of sponsors, yeah. today's show is sponsored by Janome. And thank you, Janome. We love Janome. Absolutely. <laughs> they are so wonderful to work with. We love their machines. And we just are so giddy that they are being so generous in offering a free sewing, sewing machine and, and embroidery machine. And embroidery. Yes. And so two lucky viewers will be able to uh, receive those machines. And so that brings us to our next question of when is the Janome machine giveaway? Uh, when does it end? Yeah. And the last day for uh, to enter that is on March 30th. We'll select the winners on March 31st by a random drawing. And then you can uh, find out on our April 5th show who the two lucky winners are. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, third question I'm going to address. This okay. is too funny. But this is a question that's been asked over and over again through the blog and through email, so we decided that we might as well address it. That's right. I'll give you a sampling of what a, one of the blog posts said. Just curious, Kim and Chris, is your last name Osmond? Because you <laughs> certainly do look like Marie Osmond and the Osmond family. Sign Wandering Sandy. Well, <laughs> Sandy and everyone else who's wondering, the truth is... I'm a little bit of country, oh. and Chris is a little bit of rock and roll. Oh, Kim, no, <laughs> it's true, no, it's no. true. Hey, at least I didn't mention that you wear purple socks to bed. <laughs> now, if you're old oh, enough to know that great. joke, then we're right there with you. Oh. No, the, the answer, of course, to that question is no, we are not related to the Osmonds. Uh, but thanks, <laughs> thanks for uh, for asking. Uh, and we, we, might, love the we love the Osmonds. We love the Osmonds. Yeah, that would be really a lot of fun. And <laughs> we have big smiles like the Osmonds, I guess. But That's we're right. not related. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about today's show. What kinds of fun things we're going to be able That's to right. do? Now, today's show, we are actually going to make the official DIY dish double layer cake pin Ooh. cushion. Here's a sampling of it. We've got some other examples here. Here's another one. That's it's right. a double layer cake. We're going to make it from start to finish in just a few moments. You know, pin cushions are all the rage right now. Everybody loves collecting them. They yeah. like to be creative in how they make them. And so I think it's going to be a lot of fun yeah. to see uh, what we're going to share with you and we want to see what you do with it. Absolutely. And speaking of pin cushions, one of our very favorite fabric designers, Heather Bailey. Mm -hmm. Does that ring a bell? Love her fabric, yes, love her yes. designs, love her pin cushions. Check this out. She's got oh. this darling little pink elephant pin cushion. Love it. Uh, so fun. What Could about anything this? Anything be more adorable okay. than that? Nothing could be know. more cuter, except maybe this turtle. This He's turtle is so cute. He ranks right Wouldn't up that there. <laughs> look great <laughs> in your sewing room. Okay, she's got, okay, this screams Heather Bailey, the fabric, yep. the pair. She has this whole set of freshly picked uh, pattern designs and kits. And we are so fortunate because Heather is excited to share with you 
10 people are going to actually win a Heather Bailey pin cushion pattern and kit with the fabric yes, for all of these everything cute in there. Yeah, how cute is that? So stay tuned till the end of the show and we will tell you exactly how you can win one of those Heather uh, Bailey pin cushion kits. So, so thank I you. think we should get started. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go make those cakes. Okay, so in celebration of our first show, we felt it was only fitting to have a celebratory cake pin cushion. And so we have the bottom layer and the top layer. Gotta show them the bottom. That's right. And a magnet on the bottom. This Ooh. serves a dual purpose. <laughs> yes. Because if you're anything like us, you probably have straight pins falling all over the place. And so by having this little magnetic area right here, you can quickly pick up your pins. Now this one was made out of felt, but we're actually gonna show you in just a minute how to also cover it in fabric. And we'll do that over at that cold Janome machine in just a minute. But here's another look at one covered in fabric. So this is what you're going to need. You're gonna want four sheets of uh, felt. That's just your nine by 12 sheets of felt that you can pick up at any craft store. And we chose two different colors, pink and white. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. You think okay. you can handle it, Chris? I think so. Okay. Yep. So what I first did was I cut eight pieces of um, two and a half by 12 inch long uh, pieces of felt. So go ahead and take two of them to begin with, one on top of the other. Okay. Right, it really doesn't matter which color's on top or on bottom at this point, and start rolling it really tight, just like this. Just rolling it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, roll, okay. roll. Oh, okay. that reminds me, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Oh boy, Rolling Chris, like a I told you we weren't related oh. to the Osmonds. <laughs> Stop with the singing. Okay, oh. now, as you mm. get close to the end, keep rolling just a little oh. bit further. Okay. At about two Rolling. inches before you better. get to the end, Rolling. you want to take another piece <laughs> of felt and lay it there on the top. Mm -hmm. okay. You didn't glue anything, you didn't sew go. anything, you just keep on rolling. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. All Try right. to keep it nice and tight oh, there on the ends. You can do it, The Chris. perfectionist side of me is coming out. Oh, no. Okay, Kay, don't be a perfectionist with this. Just roll, roll, roll. Okay. okay, you're getting close to the end, so you'll want to take another strip of your two and a half by 12 inch and start rolling again. We just laid it there right on top. No gluing. No gluing. Okay, no. hurry up. <laughs> okay. Roll, roll, roll. There we go. Okay, <laughs> another one. And Isn't another one. Fun. Remember, you have eight pieces okay. of felt. And whatever you want your last layer to be, the last color here, if I wanted it blue, that's why I had the blue on there. Okay? I want pink. So I'm going to put white next. Okay. But I do have one more sh sheet left. Ooh. And I'm going to make it pink so that, since that is the outermost layer of this uh, cake cushion, pin cushion. Okay. okay. Hey, Kim, now. you want some trivia on pin okay. cushions? Yeah. Uh, do you know how long they've been around? Anyone no. else know? No. Since about the 15th century. Really? That's right. <laughs> smart. I just okay. have a wealth of knowledge mm. behind yes. me. Yeah. Sure. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> sure, we were all interested. 15th century, that's amazing. Okay, yes. so we actually put a little bit of glue here. <laughs> okay. And then just close it shut. Perfect. Okay. Here, you want to do this no one? Again, sewing involved. We did the same thing, this time with a one and a half inch strip by 12 inch strip. We cut four of those. Now, if you're wondering, if you want to know about all the details of these strip links, we do have a PDF download that you can uh, download on the DIYdish.com. So come and take a look and we'll uh, make sure you get those measurements. Anyhow, what we want to do again with this, this is our second layer of the cake. We're just going to close it shut. And see Perfect. how that stacks together very nicely. Go. Now, this, of course, is the base of the cake uh, pin cushion, the basic paint pin cushion, I guess I should say. But there's so many fun embellishments you can use to make this even more fun. Mm -hmm. Here we used a pom pom trim to decorate. It's kind of like that icing you squirt out on yeah. the cake there. It almost looks like the little scallops. Yeah, you know? exactly. So we used that there. Mm -hmm. This one we decided, again, to cover with fabric, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But we stacked one on top of the other and put some cute rickrack here's, on top. Here's my little diva cake, because I just couldn't help myself. I found the, <laughs> the awesome uh, leopard print uh, felt, felt at, at the store, and I thought, oh, that would make a darling cake. And then I sewed these little beads um, to embellish it. Yeah. 
And then here's a little mini one. Of course, you can make the small one or the large one, put them together, whatever you'd like. But here we took a piece of white felt and made a layer of frosting, or That's maybe right. I should say fondant, yes. on, on top of it. And then we took a ruffled fabric and layered the bottom and matched it with our embellished rose, which we're gonna do as well in our two minute segment coming That's up. Right. So really the possibilities are endless. It would be so much fun to see what you guys can come up with. Uh, go ahead and, and give the pin cushion a try and then we'd love to see how you embellish your own cake.